Hey, Craig here. In this video, I'm going to be making this 3 8 steel pressure plate. Okay, well here goes contouring an oval out of this 3 8 piece of uh, hot rolled steel. There's going to be two corner pieces that are going to break off and there's going to be a fairly good sized piece on the back that's going to break off because it's the material's a little wider um, than I wanted to. Um, but let's right, see how it goes. I'm not doing a 3D adaptive on this because I'm only holding it uh, by this bolt in the middle. If I do a 3D adaptive it's probably just going to spin the plate, so...
Okay, well that went pretty smoothly. Now I just have to uh, machine the pocket into the uh, top here, or the bottom. Um, by the way, that was uh, about a 19 minute run time. Um, I could, could have done it faster, but I'm just making one of them. And I didn't want it to spin on here, so... Okay, now that I have the uh, contour machined, I just need to uh, machine out the pocket for the cut part of the pressure, pressure plate. Just uh, locate that on here. It's been located in uh, Fusion 360 on this uh, universal drilling plate. Um, actually, I probably should have drilled and tapped holes over here, but I guess I'm just going to be holding this down uh, along this edge here. We'll see how this works out. Um, basically, there's going to be a, a half inch uh, space right here, so I'm going to machine inside that, so I should be... Okay, if I just grab on to the edge here, probably need to use slightly shorter screws. Okay, so I went with a slightly uh, shorter screw. Uh, I put a couple of pieces of uh, 16 gauge aluminum as like a shim under here. So I've got that clamped down pretty good. Definitely would have been better here, but yeah, it's, it's moving a little bit. Okay, well there's my uh, jerry-rigged uh, clamping setup here. Um, so, hopefully this works. Should be enough clearance on this. thing out here the yeah, Mickey Mouse clamping seemed to work right, there it is turned out pretty good okay so what exactly is this uh, pressure plate um, Basically, it's for machining uh, stacks of sheet metal uh, covers like these here. This is uh, for a different size, but um, basically, I was just using a regular flat pressure plate. Um, but on a previous video, uh, a, uh, a viewer uh, named uh, Adam Woodhams had suggested making it cupped. Basically, so when it's screwed down through the mounting hole in the middle here instead of exerting force just in this area it would actually exert force around here uh, possibly keeping it from spinning um, this is all in an attempt to get adaptive clearing 
I'm using contour right now, which is basically just slotting around all the time. So I'm hoping that this will uh, work out, and I'll have to do a test run to see. But yeah, basically that'll just screw down there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, it looked out, turned out pretty good. This is uh, hot rolled. Uh, there's really no reason to clean this up because it's just a, a tool. But uh, all right. Uh, thanks for the idea, Adam, in case you happen to be watching. All right. Oh, by the way, I didn't have to set zeros on any of this. This is all done off of these two locating pins on uh, the uh, SMW, Saunders Machine Works, tooling plate. So, All right, if you like this video, I'd uh, appreciate the thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, there's a subscribe button up there. Uh, there's also some videos down below if you'd like to watch. Uh, also, with, there should be a Patreon link on the screen over here if you'd like to support us on Patreon. Alright, thanks for watching.